Below the surface of England's capital city lies a dark and disgusting problem. It smells pretty unpleasant. In the 150-year-old sewers of East London, a huge mass of waste known as a fatberg is blocking a substantial stretch of the system. So the fatberg is formed of a mixture of fats, oils and greases, mixed with lots of sanitary items like wet wipes, and they congeal together to form this concrete-like blockage. To break up the chunk that weighs as much as 11 double-decker buses, workers are using high-pressure jets and doing the rest by hand. Experts have described the Fatberg as a total monster. To give you an idea of the size of this thing, it's 20 feet longer than London's famous Tower Bridge, which measures 800 feet from end to end. Thames Water workers say they clear 80,000 blockages from the system every year at a cost of over a million dollars a month. This one is one of the biggest we found in our sewers. Now, the Museum of London wants to showcase part of it. I'm sure it will both compel people and repel people. Museum director Sharon Ament says people should learn about the city's history. The Fatberg tells the story of contemporary London. It's about our waste products, what we're eating and what we're throwing down the drain. Engineers plan to turn the nasty blob into something useful when it's finally cleared next month. Most of it will be converted into eco-friendly fuel. Gavin Ramshorn for CBS News, London. The Fatberg will be turned into 15,000 litres of biodiesel, which is about 4,000 gallons. I'm going with repel, not <laughs> compel. Uh, they say that'll power 350 buses a day, but I wouldn't do it again, right?